Okay, and welcome to another Cube video here at channelfirewall.com. I'm Vince, also known as Pleasant Kenobi, and this is Pioneer Cube. I've sat for 20 minutes waiting for this to fire, had to ping my Discord. Big shout out to Naki and anyone else who also got in on this. Uh, I haven't asked them to not cut me on anything, but they know I'll be trying to draft green, so they'll probably be trying to cut me on green. Um, I'm not hugely familiar with the Pioneer Cube, obviously there's only cards that are available in Pioneer. I do know that Scarab God is an absurd magic card in most cubes, so I think I'm taking Scarab God here. What do we want to wheel? Maybe Grey Merchant? Murderous Rider? Uh, and Transient Melody seems reasonable as well. I guess to Toxy Tusky is pretty good if you go wide, Decay. Yeah, I do quite like... No, not this Chandra. This Chandra is rubbish. Let's take Scarab God. Okay, next up. Next up, we've got Arwen's Epiphany. We've got Find Finality as a Wrath effect. Gifted Aether Ball's a pretty good body. Uh, what does Snapping Gnarled even do? That's the landfall. It, get, it grows into end of turn. That's an aggressive card. I think we we'll Nissa, Gifted Aether Born, or Find Finality. Read the Bones is also reasonable. I'm going to take Nissa. Th that means we're either in Barg, or maybe I just don't stick to the Scarab. What if we end up in green? But I think you can't really go wrong playing a Scarab God in a fair cube environment. In, like, Vintage Cube, sure, I understand. But even in a Legacy Cube, it can be difficult to beat a Scarab God. That's an Ugin. Now, there's also a Narset here, but I don't think Narset's very good in this cube. I guess she's probably fine, but she's not like you're going to draft wheels and wreck them. Um, Ugin will not wheel. Talking of wheels. I also quite like Dreadhorde Invasion, Temple of Deceit as well. Hmm. I don't even know what the archetypes in this cube are. I'm going to try and play fair mid-range stuff, I guess, and hope that's good enough. So I guess having the colours to cast all my spells is going to be strong. Yeah, I take Temple of Deceit. Uh, next up we have Crux of Fate. Okay. Winged words are draw two for two if we have a flyer, which we might do. You never know. Chromatic Lantern's pretty good at casting our stuff. Maybe we're just doing good stuff right now. It's between Crocs of Fate and Chromatic Lantern here, I think. I do like Knight if we're in a, an aggressive deck. Maze Mind Tomb's also a legitimate magic card. Um, not that I've played a huge amount with it, but I've played a lot against it. Kite Sail Freebooter. Strategic Planning. I mean, this could feel like Graveyard if I want to get unfair, or try to be unfair with the Scarab God, by putting things in the bin and bringing them back. I do also like lands that are spells. So it's between these three, with Fatal Passage being a close fourth. I'll take Freebooter here. Doomfall. Doomfall's pretty versatile. There's a Rankle there as well. Rankle has haste, so getting out of the bin with Scarab God is good. Tamiyo is also pretty good. I don't like milling myself too much in limited because I will mill myself out. I'm just not good enough not to. <laughs> no, it's a Tamiyo. Tamiyo plays well with Scarab God. She, she enables them with the self mill. They can recur a Scarab God if we somehow lose our Scarab God to hand disruption, for example. Hero's downfall and Maya Triton here. Yeah, we hit Downfall. Downfall's a nice clean answer to Planeswalkers, and that's something that I think is going to be valuable in this cube, because I assume Planeswalkers are strong. The lower the power level of the cube, the better the Planeswalkers get. Uh, Turn Timber Symbiosis, Gilded Lotus, Jace Wilder of Mysteries. I guess Jace allows us to actually mill ourselves out and win. Let's go. <laughs> I probably should have took the green uh, double side land, but I wouldn't mind us being able to take self mill effects and having a wing con. If we get a Thassa's Oracle as well, then we've got mid range and we've got non mid range plants. Now, World of Mysteries is triple blue in our bug deck, but we have Chromatic Lantern. Maybe we'll get a World Tree. I assume World Tree is in the cube. If it's not, I'll be very, very shocked. It should be. Well, I love me a World Tree. One of my preferred cards from Kaldheim. Brock decay wheel day, but so did Grey Merchant. Oh my goodness. 
Is Grey Merchant any good in a bug deck? Because I mean, we're not going to have that many black pips. Let's take up Nexilus. Sort by mana value. <laughs> what? <laughs> Old man shower clouds, what's this? I think we want some lower curve creatures to protect our planeswalkers. So I'm gonna take the gifted eight of born here. Double black might be a bit rough. There's an Ugin. We have command lands and we didn't take the lowest. I'm gonna take Dreadhorde Invasion again to protect our planeswalkers. Knight of the Ebon Legion. Okay, probably gonna get cut because I don't think we're aggressive enough to really monopolize off of that he does get death touch which makes him a pseudo removal spell it's not true that's not true no one attacks into a legion uh, uh, the ebon legion when you got the mana up everyone knows what it does it's part of the arena uh, generation of cards right so everyone is very much aware of what this card does strategic planning oh the self mill it's here uh, what's the Abbey, I guess. Eh. Prismari Command, I guess. Maybe we end up cutting the green. Okay, next up we have a red black land. If we end up not in green, We've got Thought Erasure, which is pretty reasonable. Cast Down's good. Liliana's Death Majesty is good with the self mill plan. Glass Pomonic is a clone that's also allowed, which I really like. I do like Dread Prince as well. Rattle Mystic hits. Two of our colours. I'm going to take that on Death Majesty. Plays well with what the other stuff we're doing. Tassica. Okay. Command the Dreadhorde. Is that going to kill us? I mean, it does set up some pretty busted turns, doesn't it? Oh, but there's a Hostage Taker here too. And a Treasure Cruise and a Tassica. All of which are pretty good. I mean, Rishkar is pretty reasonable in our deck. Honestly. Can I wield this command the Dreadhorde? We wield on Nexus, so I think black is open. I think I think Rish can't, but I'm not heavily in green. No, I take Tassica. Temple of Mystery is ideal. Grizzly Salvage is also pretty good for our self mill plan. As is eternalized spells, but I think casting our spells is important. The problem with seeing any mana dorks is that we're not base green, so we don't necessarily want to play mana dorks. Now, this allows us to cast our planeswalkers as if mana was any colour, which fixes us for our jace. Also digs us for our jace, right? Land, creature, or planeswalker. That's so good. And we want Dragonlord Silvangar or Jellic Ranger to wheel. We'd much prefer Dragonlord Silvangar, I think, and it may well wheel. There's an Ulamog, which we can bring back with Scarab God, but it doesn't seem too hot. We also can take Disdainful Stroke, Chemist's Insight. Chemist's Insight also being jump startable from the bin when we self mill it. Vivian gives us a versatile, like, destroy target enchantment or artifact ability, which we don't have main deck. So we're going to take, we're going to take the Vivian. That puts our five drop slot pretty heavy right now. I kind of want to wheel that Commander Dreadhorde so we can put like, three Planeswalkers into play for 15 life and be like, YOLO. Now we've got Liliana and we've got Scarab God and we've got the self mill, but we have nothing to do with it. I think actually taking that Ulamog might have been correct for just having both of these available to us. The new Ulamog, should I say, not obviously Ulamog. Ulamog would have shuffled himself back in. Thought Seize is strong. Immortal Sun is brutal against us, so we don't want to see that on the other side of the board. Whispered Elemental does churn through our deck every turn. It is a five drop, though, so I don't think we can take it. I think District Guide fixing our mana is pretty strong. But I think we can't pass up on Thoughtseize. Yeah, let's take Thoughtseize. I mean, Thoughtseize, I prefer it in uh, cubes where the generic combo is going off, so you can take out one part of the combo. Um, yeah, I don't know if Unfair Cubes is as high a pick, but I th think it was the right thing to take there. District Guide fixing our mana is good, but again, it's green fixing. I'd rather see some colourless fixing here. Now, this is Pioneer Cube, so I don't know if there's any um, key runes or any some sort of... Mana rocks nature of the colours. Obviously, we've got Chromatic Lantern. We passed the Lotus, um, the Gilded Lotus. I'm trying to think what other 
uh, colour producing mana fixing rocks we could see. Okay, migration path. Yeah, we're going to take that. What does this do again? It was kicked. If it was eight mana, uh, choose any number. Bounce a creature. Two creatures, sorry. It's going to draw two. Create an X illusion with X number of cards in your hand. Nah, that's migration path. Migration path. Go back and ruin this path are also reasonable, but migration path fixes our mana very well. Reclamation sage, radical idea. Aetherling. Neat radical idea. We have three cards that self mill. Four cards that self mill. We have strategic planning. We have Tamiya. We have Jace. We have Liliana. So having some things been cast from the bin is not terrible. Eternal Witness is obviously not Pioneer legal, so won't be in the cube. Is that like a green warden or something? We can get something else that allows for a Kirk out of our bin. Now, Tamiyo is kind of like our green, green uh, our eternal witness right now. Okay, so we've got the thing that makes this the three mana of the young PZ from, from Strixhaven. Dread Presence, Glass Pool Mimic. Don't take Glass Pool Mimic. Only couple of screens I control, though. Nah, I'm going to take a Palladium Mirror. Oh, Tasker also self mills. We really want a Thassa's Oracle though to allow Scarab God to really push us over the edge in terms of being able to get that like self mill win. Because like if we're self milling with no Jace in play and we mill the Jace, we then need Tamiya to get the Jace back, and it's just a whole drama, a whole drama. Now we'd, I'd like a like a, another some sort of fatty, maybe two. And a couple more removal spells, a Dork and a Thassa's Oracle. They're the things we're digging for in the next packs. Okay, Command of the Dreadhorde. We've got that. That game plan is a go. Uh, things to gain life would be nice now to set up the Command of the Dreadhorde. So we've got a gifted Aetherborn to gain some life back there. A uh, one of uh, two, three life linker. What else can we gain life with? That's about it, I think. I'm sure Bug Super Friends is, is a definitely a supported archetype. Let's see who from my Discord got into here then. Oh, Ape of Justice is here. And Naki is here. Oh, the usual suspects, unfortunately. Oh, I don't want to have to pick between Whip and Grizzly, but it's going to be... Is it going to be Whip? Gives us the life gain to make Command the Dreadhold better. Yeah, let's take Whip. Whip is actually really good in our deck. Woof! It's like the unboreal rights of Pioneer. I say that. It sees absolutely no play in the format. But I remember when Whip was the hot stuff in Standard. Uh, village rights, and then not play it. Yeah, because this oath only allows us to cast planeswalkers, right? Yeah. Okay, we we'll take village rights and probably not play it. Okay, what does this shade do? It gets counters and stuff. Now nah, we'll take a removal. <laughs> District Guide Wield. Oh, yes. I'm getting a Glacial Fortress in case we pivot hard into white and blue. No, not really. Not really. Okay. Pack three. Pick one. I don't think I cannot take the Nissa Because Nissa who shakes the world, is obscene. She's a wincon in her own right. However, we didn't get the Ulamog, we didn't get the Ugin, and I really want to take Grapple with the Past. But maybe we'll wheel Grapple with the Past. Temple of Malady is also pretty... No, I, I'm not passing a Nyssa. It's probably one of the best five mana Planeswalkers they've put in a very, very long time. There's a Golos, which we won't... With a Chromatic Lantern we can actually activate. Mana Conference is fixing. Solemn is a good bit player for fixing... And drawing us cards and being replayed off of Scarab and stuff like that. Uh, Grimflayer is also pretty decent, but I think we can wheel the Grimflayer. 
I think I take Solemn here. Cogler's also pretty reasonable. Nah, I'm gonna take Cogler. No, we can wheel the Cogler. We can just triple green. No one's taking Cogler. Mech's pack. Growth Spiral. Perfecto. A little bit rough on our mana, but we need something to do in the early turns. Druid of the Cowl is also an option. But I think Growth Spiral is better. Yeah, take Growth Spiral. I want some early drop uh, fixing here. Oh, I do want a Thassa's Oracle. And is, is Farseek in Pioneer? I feel like it is, right? Because Farseek is, uh, was in the Ravnica block. And we start at RTR for... Uh, for Pioneer. I just noticed that they're talking about what they're drafting their Discord, so I had to just minimise Discord. I don't want to know. I don't want it to skew my picks or my thought process. Um, Lanawar Visionary. Elspeth's Nightmare. I mean, Binding of the Old Gods is just gas, right? We haven't seen a single Shockland yet in our colours. I think I take the Visionary. Or do I take the Binding? Binding f kills and fixes. I think we should do some stuff low down the curve here. Which one is this? The blue red. Oh, haven't we seen the blue red one? Green black triome. That's a forest that we can grab with our binding of the old ways if we take it, which we didn't. Mass manip's pretty good, but quad blue is kind of silly. Let's take that for fixing. I want to be able to cast these spells. Our mana is a little bit shaky. I will not lie. It is a little bit shaky. That was the bant one. No, the abzan one. Sorry, There's, there is no bant triome. The abzan. So no blue there. Blue is 100% a splash in our deck. Hell, we could probably not even play the blue if we wanted to. Um, I do like a forest land here in case we wheel the uh, old bindings. I do like incubation druid as well, but I'm wondering if we have to take the fed pools. Nah, I take the incubation druid. Next up, we've got Niv Mizzet Reborn, which is terrible for us. Most of this is terrible for us, honestly. Sign in blood? Double black, though, again. I want to minimize that where I can. Midnight Clock shuffles our graveyard back in. So if we haven't found Jace, it gives us a way to get around that. We're probably not going to play Midnight Clock, though. That's his Oracle one time. That's all I'm asking for. Is it so much to ask that we get given the deck that I'm trying to build? I thought that. I saw Double Blue and I got very excited. Um, what is this? Tap. We can shuffle comes a green blue fractal creature that's dangerous that'll kill me say to wayfinder a two drop that finds us a land hopefully i mean massacre worm's pretty good though killing our opponent's stuff it is triple black though hmm we're gonna bring it back with uh Scarab God or, or, or Liliana. We have Temple of Malady here, which I think I have to take. I want to take Grapple of the Past, but I'd rather be able to cast my spells. Again, I want to take Ultimate Prize, but I want to be able to cast my spells. This pack is awful. Guilt Leaf Winnower can go away. Binding of the Old Gods, though. Binding of the Old Gods. Woeshrod is a reasonable magic card, but Binding is some hot stuff. Take the River Glide pathway and cut it it's a white black land to the priest of the forgotten gods to the nahiri we can play the pathway and play the prismari command if we're feeling kind of silly <laughs> no it's awful because then you have to set it on red to be able to pass the now, actually pathways plus so like a one card slash is probably the exact opposite of what you want to do that is god awful right all pack picks are taken let's get to construction so this is what i ended up on uh, I've ended up cutting the majority of the blue. 
Strategic planning was to help out the Jace World of Mysteries plan. Midnight Clock was counterintuitive. Radical idea was to go with the South Mill. And Jace is triple blue. And although we got Oath of Nyssa and we got Chromatic Lantern, so it's not impossible. Like, if I was streaming, I might actually go for this for the meme because chat would encourage me to. But I've cut it to try and be a bit more consistent. We're keeping Scarab Gold because I generally think, I mean, it's our pack one, pick one. So you're kind of obligated in some ways on a moral level. But also Scarab God is just very, very, very good. Uh, so we've got a blight blue splash in one, two, three, four, five lands that can cast it. As well as Chromatic Lantern and, and stuff like that. Uh, other than that, we are just like a value-centric uh, mid-range pile of cards. We have a couple of removal spells. We've got to eliminate when we come up against an aggressive deck later. And then we've also got this Command the Dread Horde kind of finish if we can set up having all the stuff in our yard and just go off with Command the Dread Horde. Don't forget this video is brought to you by ChannelFireball.com, your premier source for our marketplace for all things magic. If you pick up anything from the store in the link in the description below, use the code KENOBI. That's K-E-N-O-B-I. Uh, I'm Pleasant Kenobi. Check me out on YouTube.com forward slash Pleasant Kenobi. Let's play some cube. Need a way to re-spark the excitement in your TCG collection? Box Breaks are the way to get your hands on cards from the games you love. Learn more today at cfbboxbreaks.com or check out CFB Box Breaks on YouTube. Okay, we're in to round one. We're in, up against the Megam Jow, no one from my Discord, as far as I know. We've won the die roll. This hand has two lands, a three drop, Four drop, five drop, and a five drop. Can Dreadful Invasion keep us in this game? We're playing 17 lands. Do I keep a two lander? I'm going to give it a shot. We've got quite a few. So we've got quite a few two drops. I cut Growth Spiral, right? Yeah, I cut Growth Spiral. Incubation Druid is a thing. A third land drop is a thing. And this thing gets us our fourth land drop. So hitting that third land drop enables other than our four drop, and our four drop enables our five drop, and so on and so on. So, yeah. Okay. This is fine. If we can hit a Mana Thork. Or we can hit a, another land. We've got Incubation Druid to hit as well. We've got Satyr Wayfinder to hit. There's a few good two mana hits. So they Temple Epiphany. They put the card on the bottom of their library. We draw our, our third land. So it's better to be lucky than it is to be good. Players Red Horn Invasion and pass the turn. Red, blue stuff. Carry a Zev. Cool. We're going to untap. So they're going to be quite aggressive. No one plays carries Zev unless you're planning to be aggressive. Make a 1-1. One, one. Draw another land. Let's go Nissa Vastwood Seer. Grab a forest to our hand. We're just going to be throwing our 1-1 one, one zombie under the bus to save us two life a turn, I guess. I don't want to grow it first. Allowing it to grow opens up our remo to removal. They are very aggressive here with an Ari... Ari? Arn Crop Crasher, the one that exerts to tap down. Not tap down, stop from attacking or blocking, or blocking even. Did they exert here, though? So I'd happily throw this in front of this, this Crop Crasher right now. They do not exert. I'm going to block like this. So I'm going to take three. I'm going to look at the image of my deck. What do I want to... What do I want a Tamiyo for? Oh, Binding's really good here. Okay. Let's Binding. Kill their only attacker. Go to combat and attack. No need to use Tamiyo if we draw another good 4-drop, right? <laughs> I guess Command the Dread Horde. No, we haven't got Double Black Source. So maybe we just say... We can't name land. Solemn? We're not going to play Tamiyo next time. We're going to play Vivian. Our binding will go get our triome, which will unlock our black source on the following turn after you play the V next turn. I was hoping they play. Oh, hang on, does this kill flyers? It does kill flyers, but it turns into an egg and then they. Yeah, maybe they'll block my zombie army here and then I can't kill it with Vivian. Let's play a Vivian. Tick. 
up Vivian. Take a Scarab God. Yeah, Scarab God's pretty decent. No attacks here. I'm just going to let my zombie army grow. We're on 14. They're an aggressive deck. Obviously, uh, the Dreadhold is pinging us down every single turn. Now, do they go face with the Kindling Things or do they go into Vivian? That is a question. They go into Vivian, which makes sense because Vivian can obviously pop the Kindling Things down to a egg and then we can kill it something else. Kind of makes sense. Do they have a red burn spell to finish her off? Do they have another body to play? Temple of Silence. Wowza. For an aggressive deck, they... That's like two new colours in this equation. Are they... Interesting. Interesting. Solemn Simulacrum, eh? Okay. Pretty dees, pretty dees. So we can't pop that with Vivian right now. Second white source. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. We get a 13, we grow our army. It gets lifelink when? Six or greater. It's now got death touch. Play a temple of mystery. Scry one. Put on the bottom of our life. We don't need Tasker right now. Uptick Vivian. Find another land. Put Whip and Oath on the bottom of our library. Tamio. War removal spells. Heroes downfall. Yeah, Hero's Downfall. What else do we have? Whip is not a removal spell. Hero's Downfall. We did not hit it, but Thoughtseize, Command the Dreadhorde, and Island into the bin. I'm going to play a Kite Self Freeboot. I'll have a look at our opponent's hand, see what double white spells they're working with. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, as long as they don't draw a swamp or a mountain to reveal with the Val to the land, they can't play the Valky for seven. Oh, no attacks with the zombie army. I want to be able to keep it back to block the Solemn, because we're on 13 and taking six is not good. Obviously, they can kill Vivian, they can kill Tamio. I can get back the binding with the Tamio. It can kill a Tibble. So that's something. I want to get back Thought Season and just take the, the tipple out of the equation. That ball cost us another two life. And I still haven't dealt with the Rekindling Phoenix. Direfully Daredevil allows them to play Thought Seeds from our bin. So Thought Seeds is out of the equation now. They can also play Migration Path. They could also play Command the Dread Horde. No, they're going to Thought Seeds us. Take away Scarab God or Liliana's Death Majesty. They cast it and they didn't take anything from my hand. Was that a mistake? I don't know if I can ask them what it would have been and not play it because if they took the Scarab God, I would have got it back with the Lidiana. So, but at least they got rid of they got rid of the Thoughtsies, meaning that we can't um, get it back and take the Tibble out of their hand. They attack and kill the Vivian. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, I could have blocked. No, uh, that was dumb. That was very, very dumb. Oh, Tamio meant the Thoughtsies couldn't do anything. Interesting. I forgot about that part of Tamio. <laughs> Worked out pretty good. Okay, so we drew a visionary. 
We have three, four, five, six, seven. We have three, seven mana. They're going to play a Tibble. We're going to exile an artifact or a creature. Bring back a binding. Play a Liliana. Bring back a Nissa. So he grabs a forest. Play the forest, flip the Nissa. Maybe make a full four. Yeah, let's make a full four. Let's scare people with all of my options. Play a visionary. Go to combat and attack. Nissa shakes the world next turn. Could be pretty hot. I guess I attack for five here to really threaten them. He's going to be a big old boy soon. They have one card in hand. It's a Tibalt. They go to 11 here. Next turn we can probably Nissa and cast binding yeah we can nissa untap a black source cast binding love life we can block with kite free boot here to protect tamio liliana or nissa here come the tibalt tibalt they might just play tibalt and up ticking uh not realizing that we can kill it at the binding of the old gods perhaps Fiery Prophecy, okay. No Tibot, then they drew a removal spell for our flyer. That is gone. And now they can attack and kill a walker. Which walker do they kill? That is the question. They killed Tamio here, okay. Now our zombie's gonna have life in the next turn. Which is pretty sweet. And we drew whip as well. Which is pretty sweet. <laughs> We're going to create a 2 2 zombie and mill ourselves. Get to the Aether Burn and Tassiga. We're going to uptick Nyssa, draw, revealing a card. If it's a land, we put it into play. We do. It's the Temple of Deceit. Put on the top of our library, I guess. And then we're going to go Nissa. We can't go Nissa and Whip this turn, or can we? Yeah, we can. Okay, got this black source here. Nissa. Uptick, untap this. Black, black, make an extra green. And green, whip. Temple of Malady. Oh, bottom the incubation druid, who cares? We've got the mana left, we're going to use it. And then we're going to go to attack, since so attack for a whole bunch. So that could just have lifelink, lifelink now, right? Shake my head. We're attacking for lethal here. They'll trade the dire fleet for the Lanawar visionary. The zombie token will kill the solemn. They'll draw a card. The 
first strike actually stops us gaining some life there. They go to 7, we go to 21, they draw a card. Feeling pretty happy about things here, I'm not gonna lie. Feeling pretty happy about things. Things have gone rather well. You might say it's coming up Kenobi. So they've got three cards in hand, one of which is Tybalt. What's the other line on Fire Prophecy? Oh, they could have put Tybalt on the bottom of the line with the draw a card if they really thought Tybalt wasn't good enough here. With Fiery Prophecy. With Fire Prophecy, not Fiery Prophecy. You've got to call the cards with the right names. They might print a Fiery Prophecy further down the line, you know? That might be a thing they do. Okay, we won. That was a fun game of doing what I want or when I want. Our opponent is on, like, five colour red, I think. So I bring in Eliminate, and I cut Ob. Yeah, that's where we're going with this. Eliminate obviously doesn't kill. I mean, the Guilt Leaf Winnow does kill the Phoenix. Well, I'm going to kill the Egg as well. Maybe having multiple ways to do it is a good thing. Um... I probably shouldn't keep this, but I'm going to. Because it's a lifelink and a removal spell. And they're aggressive, right? A lifelink and a removal spell should buy me enough time to just draw all the value. Island from our opponent. We're going to untap and draw a Lanawar Visionary. Sweet. Pass to our opponent. Isolated Chapel from our opponent. Cool. We drew... Command the Dreadhorde. Pretty good. Give to Data Bond. Pass the turn. Next time we go to Lanowar Visionary, draw a card and ramp ourselves. Lanowar Visionary is so good. Who would have thought if you just tied Lanowar Elves to a Elvish Visionary, it'd be a solid, fun card. What two cards in the card? Tell me in the comment section below what two cards you would like to tie together to make a new, a new card. I think I want Flick Wisp and a Palace Jailer. Like, you know, a seven mana... It's like a palace that's got like like tendrils hanging out of its face and stuff. It's a grotesque piece of body horror. And has all the text of both palace jailer and flicker west. To the point that it's a human elemental soldier. Yeah, you heard me. I know what I want, okay? I know what I want. We look like a real control deck over here, which is nice. Strike our visionary, sure. They are also on control now, it would seem. Untap and draw. Mm, that's a pretty good card for next turn. We can thought seize them here. Hold up heroes down for eliminate. Take what kill whatever they play next turn. They have a spell pierce and a dread ball. Well, we can play around spell pierce. We can't reasonably play around dread ball. So I'm not going to slam my miss next turn because they will just pierce it. I guess the ideal scenario is they tap out for a five mana walker. We blow off the face of the earth with heroes downfall, uh, and then we play the nissa. But maybe not then. Magic Lantern. We've got all the mana under the sun now. All the colours. Every single colour in our lands. We've got the whole spectrum of colour in our hands. Draw another land that comes into play tapped. So we can cast Nissa next turn through the spell pierce. Now there's a possibility that we meant to fire the Nissa off earlier, get the spell pierce out of the hand, then command the Dreadhorde, both Nissa and Gift of the Born and Visionary back. But no, nah, I'd rather play the Nissa and untap some stuff and so on. We find a Vivian. It's pretty good. Maybe we get some stuff out of them out of Vivian first. Green, 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 green. Green. Keep a black mana up, actually. Now we can pay through spell piss. Do they have anything else here? They do. They have something. It resolves. We get to at least draw a card off of it. 
at the absolute least, Temple of Malady or Deceit. We'll take Deceit. Scry one. Put on the bottom of our library. I don't think we need any more lands at this point. So we still have Eliminate up in their turn. We now have a Vivian on board that they've got to deal with. Because you're going to generate so much card advantage as well. Tamio. Okay. Let's go... Blue. Uh, let's draw off the Vivian first. Tick up Vivian Reed. Find a Tasca. Grab the Tasca. Make a Tamiyo. I'm holding out on the Nissa, you see. I'm holding out on the Nissa. Tick up. What do I want out of this? I probably want a Scarab God. Because they ain't beating that anytime soon. We found it. Look at that. Would you look at that. Okay. We're going to... Second minute, I guess I could just cast a Tassica, right? Like, for black, get rid of the swamp, the th thought sees. No, cancel, actually. We're just going to tap out for the Tassica. But we know we've got Spell Pist. They might have Sensor, so we'll hold up one mana. We'll lose the swamp. The gifted Aetherborn. And the solemn. The other stuff we might want to bring back with Tamio. There's a Tassica. Okay. So we now have an onboard threat. They can kill it. Sure. Dig through time. Okay. We're both delving. We're both delving. Did they find a plow? No, the plow is not in Pioneer, Dirk. It's going to be Tibalt. Just going to steal my Tassigan. That's rude. Bedevil my Vivian. Okay. So we're going to have to draw Kite Self Rebooter. We're going to down tick, grab the binding, play the Nissa, play the binding, I think. So green, green. Green, green. We're using all our non forests here to make a Nissa. Return the binding to our hand. Should have returned the Vivian actually to block the Crown War here. Because binding is still used. Well, I've got Hero's Downfall to kill a. to kill a silly little Tybalt. I'm going to go green and black. Which will make an extra green because of Nyssa. Binding of the Old Gods. Blood the Crow and War. Uptick and... Make a body attack with it. There we go. Nyssa is online. And we're in a situation where they need like a planar cleansing to really deal with all the problematic permanents we've got. They shocked themselves here. Monetary suspect, okay. That's terrifying. Are they going to like somehow chain off from that shock land? 
kill both our bodies, get in, kill a Nyssa. They're thinking, they're paying some costs. We've still got access to Hills Down for all eliminate here. Off of Black Mana from our forest, plus a down to Triome. We've got four mana total. Glory bring out. That can kill my beloved forest and kill a planeswalker. Absolutely not. Um it's gonna make black black and heroes down for this. Spell pierce, of course. I remember that's in their hand. We knew that, Vince. That's probably fine. It's out of their hand now. I did play into it. I won't even pretend that I remembered it. I, I've now blanked on it. Um, but I think we're still fine, right? Are we, Vince? Are we? So they get to kill the forest. Double attack on Walker. Lose the Swift Spear. Kill the Tamiyo. Then we can command the Dread Horde back. The Vivian and the Tamiyo. Kill the Glorybringer. Love life. Do you exert though? That is the question. So they don't throw the monitor whisper under the bus, they do. Oh, they put the Swiss Bear in like Nissa. We're, we're going to block that. I don't mind if Tasker dies here, honestly. Because you can always bring up out with Commander Dreadhorde. So I'll zap Tasker for four here. And then... I'm okay with just reducing them to like no things in play again next turn. So these trade off. We lose Tamiyo. And then we get to like just make a load of stuff off of our... We do not command the Tasker back because... Tasker is six life, and it's just not worth it. Grab a forest. Okay. Put three plus one plus one counts on this forest. Go attacking for six, because these are vigilant. Second main phase. No, not this. We're going to cast this. Right, Tamiyo, Vivian, and Alanawa. That's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. We'll go to 6. I'm okay with that. Unless they've got like a... Some sort of bolt in there. In the, not bolt, sorry, bane fire in their deck. Draw a card off the Alanawa. Emissary. Play an island. Destroy the glory bringer. Return a hero's downfall to my hand. Um, yeah, pretty good situation we got going on. They're dead to just three Nissa forests next turn. They're dead on board anyway because the exotic glory bringer. But I think dread hoarding to put us far ahead is right. Maybe I shouldn't have got the animal visionary, but maybe I'm greedy. Maybe I'm greedy. We have won the dive vault. Let's go. Oh, would love a black source here. Oh, we can go get one with district guide. <sighs> Whatever. Temple of Mystery. The scry will fix everything. You can't go wrong if you're scrying. Temple of Mystery. I'd like to find a swamp on top. It's a pretty good magic card, honestly. Um... It's interaction. I'm going to keep it on top. Our district guy will go grab us a swamp on turn three. Turn four, we can either blow something up with our binding or thought seize them. They're going to thought seize us. Don't take my district guide, though, bruh. Don't do it. Command of the Dreadhold might be the scary thing for them. Or they'll take thought seize to protect their hand. I doubt they'll hit the district guide. Although, actually, come to think of it, they can see we have no black mana sources. So they might... Yeah, that was smart. Okay, yeah. I was thinking... They don't know we're colour screwed. They definitely do. Because just look at the spells that are in play right now. Um, let's go with this and pass the turn. 
So yeah, full season of district guy. Taking the district guy from my hand is very good there. No, they tapped their mana and then decided not to. Interesting. They missed a the land drop. Okay, well, we are better lucky than good, I guess. We drew a swamp. Sweet. Let's have a look at their hand. Woof. Okay, what is going on here? We don't care about Fatal Push. We don't care about Lyra or Kalatas because they're a million miles away. Agonizing Remorse would attack our hand. I think we take the remorse actually. Yeah, I take the remorse. Because it gives them something to do on turn two. If they draw a land, which they did not. Good, 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 good. There's a there's a there was a possibility that we should have just taken um a body to get it back with our dreadhorde. Tamio. I think I'm gonna name Solemn here. Solemn, not solemn. We did not hit it. We put a chromatic lantern into the bin, though. So we get that back with Tamir if we really fancy it. Second land from our opponent. Okay. They're close to being able to doom fall us. We drew a visionary. They've got a push in hand. They can't activate it here, so that's fine. Let's go visionary. Draw a card. Let's go up, tick, Tamio, name. Kind of how we put Solomon in the bin because we've got the the, the 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 spell that spell in hand. Uh, what's it called? Commander Zetor. Just look at my army de army list, deck list again. Maybe we name this. No, maybe we name Whip. We did not hit whip. We hit solemn though. If I named solemn, we would have got a solemn. Um, next turn, we can just make a solemn, a Nyssa, and a district guide. All of those things seem pretty good. I won't lie to you. Third land. They've got Elspeth's Nightmare now. They can kill our thing. Yep, sure thing. I'm just going to binding the Elspeth's Nightmare, I think. The next one they play Kalatas. Let's go binding. Destroy the nightmare. Protect our hand protect our graveyard. Tick up one more time for for whip. We did not hit it. We put a lot of stuff in the bin, though. <laughs> a lot, a lot of stuff. Okay. Got to be careful to deck myself with this Tamio here. Although we have access to so many things out of the bin now. Like, they're going to go Kalatas. Kalatas is going to exile another, like, what, is it another, just one card or three cards? Oh, it's Kalatas, not Gonti. Derp. Okay. That's different. That's a whole different kettle of fish. I think I'm going to down tick, grab Liliana's Death Majesty, play Death Majesty. If we have a land in hand, down tick Death's Majesty, get Nyssa, play Nyssa, play land, down tick Nyssa. I think that's our line if we draw another land. Or does it even matter? Nyssa will grab us the land. Can't even lose. Can't even lose. They're thinking long and hard on their three lands. Four lands. It's a Dread Presence. Cool. Okay. It's probably one of us just kill the Dread Presence, honestly. 
probably should. Let's go get a forest. Okay. We can get the downfall back. Kill the Dread Presence. We can also resolve a Nyssa this turn. I think we have to kill the Dread Presence, right? Like, not killing it is probably very much a mistake. Get the heroes down for back. They're gonna blast cast Kalatas next turn. They're gonna to to shoot something if they draw a swamp. Will we have a body on board for them to be able to even shoot? Okay, I'm gonna cast Commander Dreadhorde. Death Majesty Nissa. It's eight. District Guide, get us a land, Incubation Druid, not get us a land, Solemn, get us a land, Dies, draws us a card, so we'll get Solemn as well. We've got that, Pale this. Getting the heroes down for back there was probably wrong then. Go to six. Grab ourselves a forest. Okay, let's keep it up. I was going to grab a forest, flip Nissa, down tick Nissa, down tick Liliana, get Scarab God back. And yeah, okay, they, they, they were fine with that. They were fine. I say fine. They were okay with that. Um, uh, run it back. Eliminate doesn't kill Dread Presence, nor... Not Gonti, Kalatas. Okay, let's run it back. They're mono black stuff. They're mono black stuff. Let's go back to my deck list. I'll get distracted. That's not my deck list. That's a different image entirely. That's my deck list. Right. That was fun. Command the Dread Horde is a fun magic card. This hand is gas. It thought sees them. We get to go Dread Horde Invasion into Lanawa Visionary into Migration Path. Yep. Seems like a pretty strong curve, honestly. Any thought sees from them? No. So we get to take away their turn two play or protect something in our hand. Draw a whip. Let's thought seize them. What have they got? They got two lands. They've got a murderous cart, a shadow's verdict, and a cling to dust. Now cling to dust they can escape later. Kind of turns off our sideboarding plan, honestly. Oh sorry, sideboarding plan, our graveyard plan. Um Exo Orchid, no planes with the man with CMC three. Or less from graveyard, and all with three or less from battlefield and graveyard. Battlefield and graveyard. That is a card I've never seen cast. Hmm. Yeah, we can we can beat this stuff. This is all good. Maybe we should take the cling. Maybe we should take the cling. They found Dreadhold Invasion as well. Okay. Now they can kill our Dreadhold Invasions, but trading cards for tokens is always pretty reasonable. Cling is instant speed, so they tap out for stuff. We, we can mug Russian's path, play a whip, get set up, you know. Our Dread Old Invasion tokens are going to be better because they're going to have lifelink ongoing. Um, thanks to whip. I say that, it's not going to have lifelink for the next turn or so. 
I'll happily trade my 1-1 one, one for their 1-1 one, one next turn. Oh no, there's a bit of 2-2 before it attacks. Aye, aye, aye. That's not great. That's not great at all. They go to 19 here. We draw some of our planeswalkers, I think. Maybe with our Tamiyo, Dreadhorde, Invasion, and Engine, we should have really gone hard on the Jace plan. That could have been a lot of fun. Make a 1-1. One, one. Cool. Let's play a Visionary to ramp us. Find a Hero's Downfall. Pretty good. Pretty good. Do they... No, they can't murder's cut here. They're one man off murder's cutting. They can cling something, but that seems bad. Then seeing what our deck can do, they definitely should not just randomly cling something for value, right? Because they can draw a card off of it. <clears throat> okay, so they grow their zombie horde. <clears throat> Fourth land. We got a hero's downfall for the Lyra. That's an important, important point. I think I play Whip next turn in case they tap out for the Lyra. Actually, no, because then I'm not going to be activating the Whip while the Lyra is on board. We're going to be blowing up the Lyra with Hero's Downfall. Four mana. Murderous cut my Visionary. Fine by me. They're going to race us with their. Zombie army, okay. We're gonna 15. Then we could whip to fight to slap back and we start winning every race here on out. I think so actually, because they just tap out the liar and we kill it and we swing again. That's pretty good, honestly. And they're gonna be scared that we're gonna whip back our Lanoir visionary or something. I don't know. So we get in, to go to 16, taking them to 16, and they can't really race us unless they can give their thing lifelink. Now, Lyra is very good at racing, so I really want them to tap out for the Lyra here so we can just Heroes Downfall it and move on with our lives. Now, then we can also sequence Heroes Downfall plus Aerith of Nyssa. We can play the idea of the Triome Taps. Uh, yeah, it'll be a pretty good turn, honestly, as we race Dreadhorde Invasion into Dreadhorde Invasion. Cling to Dust, our Visionary. Sure. So they gain three left going to 18. Helps the race, I guess. Helps the race. Do we take three here going to 13? We untap and take one going to 12. And we draw a Temple of Deceit. We're going to... Cast Temple of Deceit here. Cast? Put it down. Uh, put Tasker on top of our library. Yeah, he can fuel the whip as well. And then we're just going to cast... Oh, no, we're not going to cast Migration's Path, because that would mean we don't get the Tassica. That was dumb. Should have done either of these things before playing the Scryland. Let's go to Combat Attack. 15 to 15. That Scry was wasted. I should not have done that. It's just Migration's Path. Let's just get some mana on the board. Let's go blue source plus green source in case of Nyssa. They take one going to 14. Their zombie's now 4-4. Four, four. They use murderous cut. They use cling to dust. They have four cards in hand. Lara Dolberger, Shadow's Verdict, and something. Two others. They go attack here, taking us to 11. They decide not to attack. They're going to trade the zombies off instead. Makes sense. Makes sense. We untap, ping up our zombie army, ping up, take a ping, grow the army, I don't know. We draw command the dread horde, sure. Let's go Oath of Nyssa. On top we find Solemn, District Guide and Island, we're going to take Solemn into hand. Play a Solemn. Uh, 
grab a forest. Play a triome. And then we're just going to go combat and attack. I'm perfectly okay with killing their body. Going to 18 here. There we go. All good. All good. They make a 1-1 one, one Zombo. We're on 18. They're on 13. They've got the round. They've got Thoughtsies here. Hmm. Do they take the downfall to stop us killing the Lyra? That's what they definitely do, right? They take the, they're too scared of the Command of the Dreadhorde. I don't think that was right, considering they got, like, cling to dust. And they've already got whip. Hmm. Okay. Make our 1-1. One, one. Draw a binding. Go to combat and attack with our 2-2. Two, two. Go to 19, they go to 9. And then we're just going to binding the Dread Horde here. We've already seen Thoughtsies from them now, so it's not like we can take the Hero's Downfall out of our hand. We have an answer for the Lyra Doorbringer. See, that's why Binding of the Old Gods is better than Maelstrom Pulse. We didn't blow up our own Dread Horde invasion there, and we get to get a learn next turn. A lot of people are sleeping on how good this actually is for cube and how good it's been in standard and historic and stuff as well. Because obviously it's one more mana than pulse. And both of us also speed. Obnixilus. Okay. Destroy my solemn. Go on. You know you want it. No, I gotta draw a card. Okay. Now I can't really kill the Obnixilus because well, there's a Lyra in our future. What do we draw here? Get a, grab this forest. Okay. So Liliana's pretty good here. Attack both creatures into Obnixilus. I should have Liliana'd and then maybe whipped something. That's what I should have done. I'm a fool. Yeah, I misplayed that. Because now they can just cling whatever we mill. Okay, we milled two lands. Never punished. Absolutely <laughs> never punished. <laughs> we still have an answer for Lyra Dawnbringer. We need to get that wrath out of them, really. The wrath is five mana. They have five mana. Exiles all creatures from battlefield and grave that are three or less. Doesn't kill my solemn actually. Interestingly. Draw a card going to seven. Which makes them dead on board. We've got a two two, a two two, and a two two, but one of those two just becomes a three three and up. Keep thanks to the dreadful invasion. So they're dead on board. They have they have to wrath now. They are they are priced into either playing a, a blocker or a wrathing. Or using a one shot removal spell on a on a zombie token, which doesn't feel great. You see a wrath here. Cool. And they scry. They've got Lyra next turn because we've got double white. We're going to untap. We're going to make a 1 1. Doesn't have haste. We're going to draw Scarab God. We're going to gain Death Touch. We're going to uptick our Liliana to make a 2 2 and mill a Nyssa. We're then going to return the Nyssa to play. It grabs as a forest. We don't have any forest left. Womp womp. <laughs> so just because exile. Otherwise, we could, we could actually like reset it afterwards. That'd be really good. Uh, we can attack now into Obnixilus, taking into one. Probably should have attacked their face, actually, come to think of it. Yeah, that would have been way better. Let's play Scarab Grub. Excellenissa, thanks to the whip.
So now we have Lethal on board. They can draw a card going to six. They can play a Lara, but they know we've got Hero's Downfall. Declaration in Stone. Exiling our Scarab God of all things. Woof. That hurts. That hurts. Um, they're not dead. Oh, they are dead on board. And they got Languish. Okay. They live to fight another day. We draw a card here. Draw Vivian Reed. It also kills Lyra. There, yeah, clinging on for dear life. We're going to make another 1-1 one, one off our Dreadhold Invasion. Going to 24. We drew Tassica. We're going to uptick. Make a zombie mill ourselves. Only 10 cards left in our library. We're going to whip the Solemn. Are we going to whip the Solemn? I think we are going to whip the Solemn. Grab a land. Go to combat and attack. Of Nixilis and kill it. I know they're on six, but we can we can alpha strike them. I just don't want them drawing cards to keep them in the game. Maybe I should be just slamming into them. And then we just play a Vivian Reed. No, we play a Tassiga. Do we play both? We keep Nissa in our bin in case we draw Tamiyo. Because Nissa's like hasty, hasty kill stuff. We keep binding. We don't want lands. We don't want Dreadhorde invasion. We don't want migration path. We don't want thought seas. There we go. We don't want to activate Tassiga here because we've only got nine cards left in our library. So we can play Vivian Reed. Uptick. Put one of these cards into our library, into our hand. Let's put. A temporal mana did. Mm. Was that silly? Oh, that, that was dumb. We just need a body. Because if they wrath us again, we're, we can hit them for like two next turn. So they play a Lyra, which is dead in two different ways. A destroyed target creature. Opponent controls with two or less, which is going to be our zombie token, our 2 2. No, they'll kill the zombie army token, okay. Okay, they're dead on board because we just kill, them with Vivian, kill us with Vivian and attack them. Sweet! Maybe we should attack face a bit more. Yeah, maybe I was opening up. Maybe I was giving too much time to actually draw, dig back into the game by not, by not hitting face. I don't know. It worked out alright in the end. It is round three, and this is probably the least sketchiest keep I've had of all league. And this is where I will just get absolutely annihilated, right? Because <laughs> I've kept some really sketchy hands and not been punished. Um, we have to go turn one, Squire, turn two, Freebooter. Then we can go turn three, Lantern into Nissa or Nissa into Lantern, into Nissa. There's going to be a lot of Nissas in our future, hopefully, unless our opponent is playing some disruption. There might be a Mono Red Fun Police, you never know. We have no turn one plays that we really care about. Temple of Mystery, here we go. This could be a very painful opening if we... Do we want this? Three lands, four lands. Yeah, yeah, this gives us our fifth land. In case Chromatic Lantern gets blown up, I guess. Um, this could be a very painful, I was going to say, if we go Mana Conference into Dreadhold Ar Invasion, but now we can go Swamp into Dreadhold Invasion. That is a Jace Vryn's Prodigy. That is a thing that does stuff. We're going to go Swamp, Dreadhold Invasion, I think, just to put pressure on, and then we can leave up a Freebooter. The fun thing about, I guess, Pioneer Cube and... Less powerful cubes is that you don't have to just be fearful that you're going to get bodied on turn two or three. It's quite nice to actually play some magic. It's why I prefer unpowered cube, like legacy cube to vintage cube. Because your opponent's just going to like soul ring, mox, lotus, make a big threat, and you're just like, cool. Like playing powerful magic is good, but I prefer playing powerful magic where you just don't get the swingiest games possible, like humanly possible. Champion of Wits. Okay. 
This Jace is going to flip way sooner than I would like. Thinking long and hard about the looting here. They put Inscription of Insight and Prismari Command in the bin. Interesting. Hoping they felt they are full of tasty things and we just command the Dread Hall it all back. That'd be pretty wonderful. So we make a 1 1. Play a forest. Do we have time to make a lantern? This Jace is going to flash back this Prismari command and kill our lantern, right? So, where do we want to be at? Oh, we have too many decisions here, chat. In comment section, should I say. We have too many decisions to make. Next time we can go Command Lantern plus Kite Self Rebooter. So I guess we go Nissa this turn. Yeah, Nissa this turn then. Grab a forest. Pass to our opponents. I guess I'm happy to throw the zombie army under the Champion of Wits, but if they turn like that later, that's more fuel for the Jason. Jason will flip long before they get to the six or. Oh, it's a, sorry, it's a thousand mana to internalize it. I thought it was a reasonable amount, like six. But it's not. It's literally a thousand. One thousand mana. It's kind of wild when you think about it. Morgan try him into the bin from Jace. They are two cards off flipping him. And activate him again. They've probably got a looting effect in the... Well, no, actually, they should have done that. They're just trying to hit a land drop here. Jace the Wilder of Secrets or whatever the hell it's called. Wilder of Mysteries. The Scooby-Doo Gang, Jace. No, that's not true. The one from, um, what you call it is. They should have, yeah, circled that sensor, then activated the Jace. This gives us a turn to untap and draw the spell and then kill him. Uh, what's it called? The four minor one. Command the Dread Horde here. We could win off their Jace, potentially. That's pretty hot. Pretty hot. Let's go. So they're going to flip Jace next turn anyway. And then they're going to go shoot my Nissa, kill my Lantern. That feels pretty rough. Um, let's not allow that to happen, I guess, by going Tamiyo. And then we're going to uptick. And we're going to name... Hmm. What do we want here? What what eats their graveyard? Let's look at my deck list again. Do we have anything that eats their graveyard? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, I guess binding will just kill their Jace. Let's try and grab binding. Binding V, not of the old gods. Okay, there we go. We didn't hit it. We didn't hit it. That's fine. Keep our bodies back. Keep our bodies back. So they flip Jace, down tick, play the command, kill a Zombo, make a treasure, or do something else with it. It is probably the best. In terms of mana cost to utility, yeah, it is the best command. It feels like Electrolyze in many ways. You don't need to just draw a card raw, but it's like, is it charm on crack? That's what it actually is, isn't it? Okay. Flip Areno, the Jace Areno. Can't really threaten the Tamiyo without just throwing things into my zombie army tokens. So that's nice. That's good. That's good. Mm 
Okay, they're still thinking it through. They're still thinking it through. I really want to win off their Jace, but I don't know if that's just me being silly. I'm going to end up losing. Maybe I commit to only winning off the Jace to unlock the achievement. In some ways, I want them to kill my Nissa because then we can command the Dreadhold back Vivian, Nissa, and their Jace. Problem there is it doesn't affect the board enough. Unless we're flipping the Nissa and making a 4 4. I say affect the board enough as I put three things into play, but Torture of Defiance, okay. So they can uptick this Jace, blunt the front end of this, threaten Tamio, kill the Nissa. Okay. Kill my Nissa, sure. Up, tip the telepath onto my zombie army and attack my Tamiyo. Only with a v weird. Guess that in case we play a hasty threat, makes sense. Um, I will throw this. Um, no, we'll take two. Then we can go zombie plus... Well, no, the zombie is debuffed until next turn, isn't it? Yeah, so we can't go zombie and 3-3 three, three into their face, unfortunately. Oh, it does get a counter, though. Okay. Let's try and find a binding again to kill this Jace. That gets rid of some of the stuff. Did not find it. We did find a task going on next list in Solemn though. Do I migrations path to set up the command the dreadhold next turn? I think I want them to have less mana, so we're gonna go Nissa. Up to the Nissa to summon the swamp. And we're going to attack the Chandra. The Chandra is gone. We have a 3 3 block that when they blunt the front end with Jace, we can still kill a PZ or champion that attack. It's up to 5 mana now. If you still have Prismari Command at 2 damage to any target, they also have just Royal Eruption, which is 3 damage to any target. And you also have Inscription, which is just bounce 2 things. It's pretty good here, to be fair. For 0. And they can slap Tamiyo or Nissa, but it doesn't really get them very far either because both the Planeswalkers survive. Skargan Hellkite. Oh, no. Okay, we lose Nissa here then. Vivian can kill the Skargan Hellkite. Everything into the Nissa. We get to kill a PZ, which is nice. Nissa is gone. If we hit a land drop, we can cast Command the Dreadhorde. If we don't hit a land drop, we feel a little bit silly. Oh no, we got a swamp. What am I on about? We're fine. Oh, I passed into combat. We drew the binding though, which is nice. Let's just go ahead and cast Dreadhorde. It's a very good magic card. Nope. Nope, 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 Vince. You were right. You did this draw land. Hmm. Kill the Vivian, kill the Jace here. I didn't attack. Oh, he's blunted, though. Yep, didn't attack. That was uh, dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. So now we have to kill the Jace. Lose the Tamio. Up 
Tick Tamio finding, I guess, Oath, but I can't cast it because I tap my mana horribly. Oh, we hit it. <laughs> this chromatic landed is so clunky in this game. Okay, I fumbled that real hard last turn. I was too busy looking at my deck list and stuff and then just passed through the main phase. Mm, so bad. So we can down tick Tamio to get a land, which we could on that turn actually and cast Dreadhorde. So we could cast Dreadhorde off the Tamio. I didn't really think about it enough. And now we can't do that. And they attack Tamio with the Hellkite. I cannot block. Tamio goes to two. They can kill her with a burn spell, and that's fine. Jace, Unraveler of Mysteries. Okay. Return my land to its hand, okay. That's definitely something I'm dread hoarding now. We're going to put a forest into play. We're going to go... Forest? Oath. Getting Scarab God. Yes. Any all in the bottom. Only nine cards left in our library. And then I guess we're gonna go Freebooter. I can't put any more cards in my bin with Tamio, really, can I? Oh, I can do it one more time. I can do it one more time. Um What would be good here? What has flying? No these things are flying. Whip, I guess. I want a whip in hand. Okay, no whip. Seven cards left in library. Don't want a migrations path. I'm going to go Chromatic Lantern. And then we're going to go ahead. No, undo. Make Black Man without pinging myself. Kite self rebuild. See the last card in their hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, if they hit a land, they're just taking an extra turn. Um, if we block, which we won't be. Well, they can bounce with Jace, can't they? Yeah. One time, don't draw a land. So they go to combat. They attack with Skark and Hellkite. I let Tamio go. Didn't challenge the Jace with the zombie, and I probably should have done. I don't know what I'm doing. I keep forgetting about the zombie army now. I'm so deep in the tank, we're trying to figure out how to get this to go. Seven cards left in the library. Jace Mills, how many? Two. We're going to have six cards in library next turn. We get Jace plus Tamio. That's enough, right? That's the win. Now, if they bounce the kite sail, play a land, play Aaron's thing, my Bob, we have enough life to win. They're going to foretell it. Okay, so they can cast it next turn. I'm cool with that. Don't know what the other card in hand is. Hopefully it's not a counter spell. Oh, it's just draw more cards. Okay. Go to six cards in library. Go to twelve. Creatures gain death touch, sure. Play a swamp. Go to combat and gain six life. Second main, cast this. I'm going to take Jace and Chandra. 
Do I even need to? In case something goes wrong, I can kill the Skark and Hellkite. So that's eight. Twelve. Black, red, green, 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 and a black. Okay, we're on six. I'm then going to choose a card. We're going to say Abandon Hope. Mill four. Then we're going to just target player mills two and draw a card, right? And then we win. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Easy game. I got so distracted. I wasn't attacking properly. I was trying to think out general, uh, general evasion math. Oh, that was sweet. That was good. That was the good stuff. That was the good stuff. Right. Then what have they got? What have they got? We got a Jace. We're going to take eliminate. It kills Jace both front end and back end. Um, cutting a Tassiga. Because if they bounce Tassiga, it's just feel bad, right? Uh, no ATP value. You spend parts of your graveyard. Yeah, we all know to get that bounced. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That was a sweet game of Magic the Gathering, if I do say so myself. Very, very fun. Um, I won. That helps. But also, we just won with their Jace, right? Who needs to have your own Jace when they have a Jace? I wonder if they now cut their Jace. Is that what they do? Maybe we should bring in our Jace. I think I'll bring an Arjace. Oh, what I can't. District Guide? Nah, District Guide's too good. My oh, we're never gonna, no, I never can't snatch it. Are we? The Oath, the Migration's Par, Chromatic Lantern. Thoughts he's out of our own hand. Dreadhorde Invasion it back. Righty, righty, righty. Okay, so we've got a turn to Dreadhorde Invasion to threaten. And then we're on the scry on the draw as well. Need a third land for District Guide to really get us going. Both District Guide and Nissa or for Waters for hitting our third land. We didn't. We're going to scry anything that isn't a third land to the bottom. It's almost a third land. Two more draw sets to go to try and hit a third land. Jace, of course. Strong turn two, I've heard. I'm going to repeat the process all over again. Dreadhold Arcanist. Pass the Arcanist. Dreadhold Invasion, sorry. I've probably said Dreadhold Arcanist a million times in this video. When I mean Dreadhold Invasion and um, whatever the other one is. Dreadhold Emergence. I don't know what it's called. Consult. Command. Command the Dreadhold. Called Deck List on my other monitor. Called Deck List on my other monitor. Ugin into the bin. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay. Champion of Wits. Okay. I'm going to grab a swamp with our district guide. So we've got double black for Liliana and Obnixus. Obby B, as I used to call him, which doesn't make any sense because there's no B on there. It just sounds like a rapper, Obby B, doesn't it? It sounds like Nicki Minaj's demonic, like uh, alter ego. The demonic tw twinsies. Fiery Temper. Okay, another Prismari command that I'm going to play around the entire game, they're never going to cast. Such is life. Okay, make a 1 1. Cool, 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 cool. District guide grabbing a swamp. No attacks. Untap with Jace. All they need to do is cycle one card, then activate Jace, then they flip him. No, they have to make Jace first. They're playing Ugans and seven mana taking other turns and stuff. It's interesting. Next time I'll probably just slam the whip and turn my creatures sideways. Gain some life. Threaten them a little bit. If they trade the Champion of Wits for District Guard, we can whip it back the following turn to hit another land drop. They discarded a Phoenix. 
Oh, it's the Morphing Phoenix. It's not even that great here. Chart of Course. If they cast Chart of Course first, but I assume they just drew it off the Jace. And if I draw an Eliminate or a Hero's Downfall, we just kill Jace here. Therefore, telling that spell, I don't know how much it costs. When for top, I'm assuming five. I'm assuming discounted by two. Okay, we didn't draw another land. Oh, we didn't draw a kill spell, so we're going to go. Whip. Move the combat and attack. They take four, we go 22. Next turn, Obnixilus can kill. Well, Jace will be flipped, so that's not going to be a thing. Might just be Slam Obnixilus uptick. It might be Slam Liliana down tick. No, not down tick, sorry, uptick. What the hell am I talking about? No red lands from our opponent. They've just got a two double red spells and one red blue gold card. Something tells me their mana isn't working out quite as nicely as ours is. That's why green is one of the better cards in Magic, right? Because green not only does everything. It draws cards, big things uncountable, plays big things, fights. does everything these days. But mainly it allows you to cast different spells, whatever spells you want. Okay, a bounce our zombie token. That makes sense. They're going to block the district guide with Rin and then tap, do the do the flipty floop. I drew Vivian. Attack the Jace, allow them to flip de floop. Oh, they're gonna trade the Champion of Wits in for it. Okay. Sure. Make a zombie, Mirthos for two, find incubation druid in the bin. Which is quite at the bottom earlier. I guess this would guide up on our library, to be fair. Jace will now do the flip arena. They can kill the Whip of Erebos with the Prismari command. And that is fine. That is fine. They still need red mana to do it though. Royal eruption, okay. So I'm gonna take an extra turn and make two birds, right? Yeah, sure. Sure, 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 sure. Bounce my Zombo. Yep, makes sense. Untap. Do you find a red source there? I'm glad this Al Alron's pile of stuff exiles itself. If it didn't, that'd be very frustrating. Are we even going to be able to threaten Jace Telepath Unbound? That's the problem. We can get very lucky and see our opponent never find a red source. Treat the front end of our zombie army, yep. Yeah. There's the red source. Okay, incoming Prismari command onto our whip next turn. Okay, so we're going to uptick our Liliana and see what we find for whipping. Because this is the last time we're going to get to do a good whipping. We need to find Hero's Downfall, really. So uptick and Liliana is kind of scary. But Hero's Downfall and the Binding of the Gods, or whatever it's called. Binding the Old Gods are good for killing Jace here. Oh, we can now Vivian and... No, we can't. No, we can't. Knock down Liliana. How dare you, bird? How dare you? Three cards in hand. Thought sees would be good. Scry to draw to. Okay, that's good news of insight. Leave the two mana up, meaning we could get censored. So we pump our zombie army by one. 
draw a swamp. We're going to uptick Liliana, make a 2-2 two, two Zombo. Okay. Hit two lands into the bend. Not ideal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, I guess you play up next and kill a bird. No, we can play Vivian and kill a bird. Oh, I didn't play a land with a turn. Oh, that was dumb. Whoopsie. Oh, that was huge. That was huge. Okay. That was huge. That was huge. And I'm an idiot. That was huge. And both an idiot. And I'm very dumb. And that was huge. Okay. It's fine. We can recover from this. Jace is two turns away from ulting. We now have access to Red Mask. They could just down hit the Jace to do God knows what. In a format with sense events, play your lands before your spells. There's no reason not to. Down tick, target inscription, bounce both zombos. Attack Lily down again. We even knew they had sensor, by the way, because we saw them cycle it in game one. Yeah. That was uh, a punt. So we can flip Nissa next turn if we want to. Still have four mana up afterwards. Uh, up tick, let's try and hit a fifth mana to play up next on the same turn. Down tick, to pick a 4-4. Obnexus can obviously kill a body. I want Vivian Reed to kill a body, so then Obnexus can kill any body that they play, like if they play a, a Stormwing entity or whatever. I'm going to shrink down a Zombo. Play a Mountain, double red. Hellkite. Give it haste, kill my lily. So lily will die. On the upside, I can now crack into Jace for three, stop him from ulting. And if they bounce this, they don't, they scry one, draw one. And then we can Obnixilus kill the Skarg and Hellkite. And be in an okay spot. Be in an okay spot. So we grow our zombie army to a 3-3. We draw another land. Four, five, six, seven. So we can go Vnissa, flip it, try and... Now we have to play Ob this turn. We have to play Ob this turn. Don't know why I haven't played the second land. If they... If they, they just straight up counter it. Okay. That is fine. We're going to attack the Telepath Unbound. So we've got a lot of hot draws, honestly. Now, if they bounce a body shrink the other, we're not going to be gaining much life. We can't race or set ourselves up for Command the Dreadhorde. Command the Dreadhorde hitting like Lily, Vivian, and Obnixilus all seems very, very good. Kill Skargan, kill a bird. It'd be pretty good. It'd be pretty good. It'd be a lot of life. It'd be 15. Um, they're going to cast Prismari Command to kill our whip, I think. Kill a whip, kill a zombie. Yeah. Seems decent. Come in for six. Maybe bounce our zombie army. Come in for four. No, come in for five. Protected. Yeah, protected Jace. That makes sense. We've got a lot of good top decks. Come on, the Dreadhorde. Um, the Formano Enchantment.
you know, peasy. Okay, the game's kind of getting away from us now. And by kind of, I mean that's probably the corner they needed to turn. Young peasy plus any spell is pretty good here. We drew Tamio. So we can go island. Oh, I put the lamp for the turn so I can't flip my Nissa. Okay, we're going to go Tamio. God, I'm making some mistakes here. And they've got another counter spell. Saw it coming. Okay, that was bad. Play Nissa. Don't flip her because I'm an idiot. Attack, chase, ravel of mysteries. Try and force them to block something here. Mm, could have put the Nissa out of four four. Could have uptipped the Nissa to a card. Could have done a lot of things. Playing that sensor was huge. I neutralized and saw it coming up open bad, but playing the sensor was just really bad. The blue red Jace travel, but they've cut one of the Jaces. That's funny. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, it does three damage to target. a target. That's pretty good. Chairman of Wits won't trigger it because it won't be the second card drawn. It'll be the third and the fourth. What on earth could we draw here? What on earth could we draw here? A Wrath would be nice. Find Finality would be pretty good. That I passed during the drafting of this deck. In for six. In for five. Okay. In for five, six, seven. Go to eleven. Okay. What do we find? On top of our library. We go down to ten. Find a solemn. Flip our Nissa. Tick up. Draw a card. Draw and eliminate. Bit late, isn't it? Bit late. How do we, can we recover from here? 70 card of library, they attack for a bunch next turn. No, we can't. Well, could we steal their Jace if we draw Command the Dreadhorde had more than five life? 17 card left in library, nah, let's go to game three. Let's have some time for game three. Okay, that was rough and it was my fault for playing into that sensor. That was just garbage play from me. And I think it lost me the game because killing that Skargan and having a Vivian on board, drawing us cards every turn, would have been so good for outpacing what our opponent was up to. Now, they might have had the other two counter spells in hand as well. They saw it coming and the neutralized, but in all fairness, they only had two mana up, so I even said about Sensor. I even joked about Sensor and didn't play the bloody land. Oh, well. Right, let's play first. Let's go. Let's do this. Our deck is good. Our deck is solid. Uh, this is reasonable. Let's keep this... I'm going to turn two Thoughtseize then. That is my plan. Let's play this. I'm going to play a Squireland and Thoughtseize them on turn two. Take their chase. I'll have to fight that again. We've got Temple of Deceit here because this is a green source, right? Here's a green source. Jeez, that would have been a misplay if it wasn't. Uh, put on bottom of library because district gotta find us another land anyway, so we don't need a fourth land here. We're gonna go looking. What have we got? If we've got a Jace, we can just eliminate it, so we don't actually take Jace here. Young Peasy, I'm happy to take a Peasy. I'm happy for you to cast a Peasy. Sensor. Saw it coming. Crackling Drake. Alvin's Epiphany. Hieroglyphic Illuminations. Take the sort coming, I think. We can kill the PZ. Drawing cards top cost them four, cost them four. Yeah, we take the sort coming. We can play around the sensor. They 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 they, they cycle the sensor immediately. Young PZ, sure. We're gonna 
player mystery. Have a look top card of our library. Put on top, I think. I mean, oh, I shouldn't top that one. Stupid. Black, black. Kill this. We hit a third land. They don't have a counter spell up now, right? But they do have. Oh, God knows what. Let's just go district guide. No, let's just go Tamiyo. They didn't have Cat Magic when we looked. We need three of their five cards. Have they drawn? They drew Neutralize. We know they didn't have Sword coming. We knew they didn't have Sense. They drew Neutralize. I think I was absolutely in the right to try and test that there. Iron Crag, Pyro. Okay. Visionary. Sure. Okay. Let's go Visionary. Draw a card. Draw a Binding of the Old Gods. Seems pretty good. If they go Red Source, Crackling Drake, here, they get to bolt my Visionary. And then we kill the Crackling Drake with the Binding of the Old Gods and then the Iron Crag. Pyromancer is still around. Got to kill that sometime soon. Four mana can't cast the Crackling Drake. They can bolt the Visionary. And they do. We're going to have them play a swamp. We're going to go binding them. Let's do what he was down for for the Kraken Drake. I don't want to get bolted every turn, you know? Getting bolted every turn is bad. That is not what we want to do. Kraken Drake. Draw a card. Draw an island. Go get a forest. Play this district guide. Say yes. Grab a forest. Play said forest. Heroes downfall this whilst they don't have any more counter magic up, although I think we've seen all their counter magic. They have five cards in hand and we have nothing. We need to draw Dreadhorde, Whip, um, any of our planeswalkers, all of our planeswalkers would be so good. Um, they can now foretell the Arrowrun's Epiphany, I assume. Yeah, they did. And they play a Thunderbreak region. Oh my goodness. How am I going to beat that now? Not like that, I'm not. We are hellbent. They have three cards in hand. They won't block this because it has Death Touch. Get them down to 18. We're going to cast Epiphany and hit us for 8. No, they're going to hit us for 10. 4 the first turn, 6 the following turn. What went wrong in this game? Them just drawing the Neutralize? Just having the Neutralize? Oh my god. Their draw was so hot. Their draw was so hot. The thing is, I can't complain about their draw being so hot. Well, I can. I am. But because they wouldn't have a hot draw. We're dead next turn, by the way. They wouldn't have had a hot draw. Oh, if we hadn't messed up that sensor in game two. So I've thrown away a 3-2 here. And that's that. Hope you enjoy the tilt. I hope you enjoy the league. We should have been 3-0, three, three sorry. Not 3-2, three 3-0. Three but I am bad at magic. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check me out on YouTube.com. forward slash Pleasant Kenobi, where I shout and talk about magic a lot. Oh, God, I love magic, but magic just doesn't love me. That's the problem. Magic doesn't love me.